This is a case of a woman that presented with a very large mass with an remedial gastrocnemius muscle, had a suspicion for a hematoma. However, we had a set of MRIs done, one with and one without contrast, which basically demonstrated an enhancing mass, most consistent with a hematoma, but neoplasm cannot be excluded. She was sent to an orthopedic oncologist who basically just wanted to follow her clinically. Um, over a year later, we did a repeat ultrasound, which in my mind essentially confirmed it was just a hematoma as it essentially shrunk significantly in size and basically demonstrated signs of a scarred type of hematoma. Here's a quick model of this hematoma that we can see this patient we're making the medial and lateral gastrocnemius muscles translucent. We can see this very large hematoma essentially within the medial gastrocnemius muscle. Here we're rotating to get a better sense of where it is exactly. And then over time, this hematoma essentially shrunk and scarred down and was essentially this kind of thin, hyperechoic cylindrical type of structure within the superficial medial gastrocnemius muscle. Here we are looking at this very large mass, again within the medial gastrocnemius muscle. Right side of the screen is distal. We have a computerized model of essentially the position of the probe during the procedure. And again, here you can see this very large hematoma, superficial aspect of the medial gastrocnemius muscle. And we're just trying to find the distal and proximal extent of it. Here's an axial image of it. Again, here's this hematoma. You can see the layers right on top of the medial gastrocnemius muscle. Then you have the underlying soleus muscle. Also, these chronic hematomas are probably not compressible, so hard to really judge whether it's fluid or not based on compression. And here's an axial and coronal MRI uh, showing this very sizable mass within the medial gastrocnemius muscle. I'm going to do a follow-up um, ultrasound. This is over a year. It's about a year, maybe almost a year and a half uh, after initially saw her. Uh, she has an um, enhancing mass in the right medial gastrocnemius muscle. Uh, she had an MRI with contrast, which essentially demonstrated it was most likely a hematoma, but there was a suspicion or some sort of mass in the inferior aspect of it. Uh, left side of the screen is proximal. And you can see just in the superficial aspect of the medial gastrocnemius muscle, you can see this hyperechoic tissue. And again, here is this hematoma that essentially scarred down over time and forms this relatively inconspicuous thin cylindrical structure on the superficial aspect of the medial gastrocnemius muscle. I'm going to do an axial view. Right side of the screen is lateral. Here we're just focusing on the medial gastrocnemius. And here you can see that old, I believe, hematoma. You can see that. And again, here's this hematoma in an axial view. Again, pretty small structure, and you can probably easily pass over it. It's basically this hyperechoic tissue. You toggle the probe. Um, kind of come in and out with some anisotropy, which is a little atypical. I don't think you would expect that for a hematoma. This is one instance where ultrasound can really kind of help move things forward faster for the patient because it really kind of confirms that it was just a hematoma that essentially organized itself over the past year and a half or so.